All right, my advanced painters. Um, so we're going to learn how to make a graded wash. Um, this is sometimes also called a gradation. I'm going to draw some shapes so we can play around with the gradations. Um, you don't have to do all of your shapes gradations, um, but I just wanted to have a variety. Okay, so when you're painting or when you're creating a wash to gradate, um, you want to start out with kind of a darker, more saturated color. That means more color in there. It's a brighter, it's much brighter than your average, than your typical wash, I guess. Okay, I'm going to need to see the water dish. Okay, so I'm going to pick, oh, when you're testing, don't test like that on your painting. Test on... A separate piece of paper. Okay, I'm gonna pick a good size shape here to start with. And the graded wash is a not a flat wash anymore because the color is going to change as we go across. It's going to get lighter. So I'm gonna start out with a nice bright color. Then I'm going to dip my brush and wipe it off once. And then I'm going to start in the paint and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Dip my brush, wipe it off once, start in the paint, and pull it across. See how it's starting to lighten up? And I'm going to keep doing that. starts and as it soaks in and dries like we saw with the flat wash it's gonna even out so the, the color is gonna settle in so it's much darker over here than it is over here so let's do that again um, okay, I'm gonna get some paint. I'm going, I don't want to put, try to stay away from putting wet color against wet color. And it's always good to spread out your colors in your composition. So I'm going to start out with my darkest color on one side. doesn't have to always be the same side. You can turn things around. Dip, wipe off my excess. And I'm going to start in the color and pull it towards me. Dip, wipe off the excess water, pull towards myself. Dip, and pull towards myself. That one turned out much better. Darker here and lighter here. Um, you can do this with any color. Yellow, though, is the hardest. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot of paint, just like our other techniques. And your darker colors, like purple, those are probably going to be the easiest. So I'm going to make a tiny bit of yellow. That was already wet from earlier. So I want to make sure that my yellow is nice and bright because very, very intense saturated color. Okay, I'm going to put this in this, in this shape. I'm going to stay away from other wet areas.
dip. Touch off my excess. Start in the paint and I'm gonna pull it towards myself. Start in the paint and pull it towards. Okay, that's, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. If you have a puddle, um, rinse out your brush and kind of squeeze your bristles a little and then you can touch and clean up that excess a little bit. And that really helped me make my gradation look clear. So, um, you can go ahead and practice, get some scrap watercolor paper, draw some shapes, practice your gradations. Um, let some dry and try a gradation and going perpendicular. Like I might start with another color with my darkest here and go this way. So if that's too wet still, it's um it's quite light or you know quite wet still. If it looks shiny at all, it's still wet. Don't mess with it. Okay, and let's see. I'll have another technique to show you later. So thanks for watching. Practice your gradations.